Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your coffee cup reading for this week. This is an amazing time we reach to. This is a knowing time, a knowing. It is like you awakened for something, like this tornado came and turned you and twist you around and land you in a place and you looked and it's like, ah, now I know exactly what I want. And I want to make it different. I, when I say medicinal, I mean, it is the words, the knowing, the knowledge that you get in your heart to change yourself, to better yourself, to know who you are. This is what's beautiful. This is what is wonderful. And I, I belong to a clan mother group. It's a native Indian uh, group. And um, I... Um, uh, uh, I love, I love how they described each mother uh, for each month, full moon month. And I want to this, I want to read to you uh, what it said about uh, June, the guardian of medicine stories. It is the storyteller. You are the storyteller. The guardian of medicine stories. The keeper of Hayoke, medicine and humor. The teacher who teaches without pointing a finger. The preserver of speaking from personal uh, experience and truth. She teaches us how to teach through telling stories that contain lessons, how to balance the sacredness with reverence, using the humor creatively, how to speak from our own, our experience without judging others or being self-righteous, how to be a student in life as well as the teacher, preserving the wisdom gained, how to speak the truth. Isn't that a beautiful? That is beautiful. So I want you, I want to read it to you. I want you to know your gift. I want you to see how it relate to you, how it speak to you, how it, uh, how it make you feel. It make you feel good. It make me feel good to know that a sister out there or a brother have these qualities that can help teach the world and, and their family and friends and the world around them. That this is not just for women. And they have it for men too. So I'm not a bias just for women, but uh, this is what I belong to. And I have the book of the clan mothers. So the men have their own, but I have no, um, and I think you guys will, if you are a man and you're reading this, it is the same for you. I am sure you will appreciate the, the knowledge in these words that's spoken. So uh, the coffee cup reading, um, I have to tell you, I did it. I did this uh, already and uh, something happened with the computer and it kicked me out. So I'm doing the same thing again. Something happened lately that the, the, the maybe a couple of weeks ago, right? You have two dots here, two times. And um, I don't think you see the leg in here, but the leg, you put, you finally got to a point. I think I wiped it in my hand, but you finally got to a point where you you know where you're going, you know what you're doing, you know what's ailing you, you know what's bringing you down, you know what is it you need to let go of because we need to let go of things that burdening us and you know what it is, but you are on your foot, you put one foot out and you are on your toes, you are on your toes, you are running, you're running to get where you need to get. And I wanna tell you, this is really wonderful because um, it is really uh, a very, uh, uh, when we run, that means we know something is we need to run away from. So whatever you're running away from or you're running toward to, you're running both ways. You, you, you are doing that. You're running away from something and you're reaching to something. In the bottom of the cup here, you're standing up. 
you have this little bird by your feet. You've been blessed. It is a gift you have. And this is why I read this, uh, the clan mother for the June full moon. I want you to, to I want you to Think about yourself that you are special, you are magnificent, you have so much about you, so much wisdom, so much knowledge, and you grow in a tree, whatever you're doing, you grow in a tree, somebody here is turning their back to the tree, it's like, uh, I'm turning away from this. Not everybody like to see you do good. Not everybody like to see you grow. Not everybody, people get intimidated, especially when they are really in, in, in low energy, okay? So people get intimidated. This is a person that's so close to you, they turned their back and they, they went away. It is so sad. It is so sad, but you are a trying. The, the tree doesn't have big branches or, or leaves yet, but the tree is growing up and you standing there, you're really putting all your attention, all your time on this tree, okay? Uh, you focusing too much on one thing and the tree is standing up straight. But a little bit above that, you are laying down, you're laying down. And that tell me you are, you, you're not paying attention to how much you've been burdened. You burdened yourself too much. It's a big flower in here. That means you're creating good stuff. You're creating beautiful things. Uh, the thing is, uh um it, it it's it, so the stress coming not from bad things the stress is coming because you're working harder okay you're doing too much you have this other person that's giving you advice that hissing on you it's like they're giving you advice their tongue is out of their mouth but it's black it's like a snake tongue and it's like uh, not everybody uh, when people share their opinion, that doesn't mean that they it is the right opinion for you. It might be for somebody else, but that doesn't mean it is for you. What this person went in their life through, maybe they didn't heal things. They just assume, oh, you see many people, oh, all women are the same. All men are the same. No, not everybody the same. Not everybody the same, but the repetition of this word, it keep everybody so tied down to what is not real and not, not good, you know? So I want you to really think about that. And in the middle in here, you got to a point, and it's like you have a butterfly above the tree. You wait, the butterfly waiting for you to lift up your head to see that you are capable and you are capable of doing anything you want. And whatever is this person hissing at you, I, I hope you will stand back, back a little bit and uh, try to um, uh, listen to your own intuition. Get grounded, meditate a little bit and listen to your own intuition. Be truthful with yourself. Okay, with you, not with that person. Um, uh, I see you holding hands right in here. So many people, so many people holding hands. It's like you belong to a party or you belong to a group or you belong to somebody. And above you, above all of you, there is a big, huge faucet, a huge faucet, very thick. And it's like this faucet want to get open and want to uh, want to get water, uh, want to wash you up, right? Want to wash you up, want to get water all over you, want to cleanse you, want to clear things up, want to remove toxins, toxins beliefs, maybe toxins, um, uh, health toxins, you know, maybe what you eat, maybe something, this water, whatever is this group you are in, you learning to get rid of some toxins in your life because the water is not open yet, but it needs to open. Next to it, uh, there is a baby. This baby is laying down. The baby need to be born. The baby need to be birthed. That is you. That's your little baby inside of you, your little girl inside of you, you need to set her free and you need to stop acting from fear because the baby need to 
the, the little girl in you need to, or the little boy in you need to move on, need you to move on so they can be free too. Uh, you once you cleanse all the stuff, so there is a healing happening. There is a healing, uh, brainstorming, uh, ideas, beliefs are changing. It's like a tornado turning you around and your cup got so full. Your cup is so full. You're learning a lot. Your story tells a lot. What you can teach others is a lot. You are so full. You're filled with, with, with knowledge, with wisdom, with whatever you've been through in life. It came out to reality where you are so uh, so, uh, so uh, knowledgeable with your words, with your connectedness to the divine, to, to, to this life, to spirituality, to, to earth, to to whatever bring knowledge and love and your cup is so full, it is ready to spill out and to others, to bring others goodness and, and knowledge and, and teach them, teach them whatever you learned from your wisdom storytelling, from your own life story, teaching people how to live and how to acknowledge the truth. This is a beautiful. And then I got this card, access. Access, I talk about stress, overload, exhaustion, obsessiveness, gluttony, burdens, worries, the breaking point. And sometimes the breaking point come when we, we do, it doesn't have to be bad, bad thing or one thing. No, it's a probably little here, little there, little there, little there, little there. You put it together, little things, one on top the other. Finally, you get to the point, I'm dead, I'm done. I'm so done, I'm ready to fall down. I can't do this no more, okay? So you need to pay attention because it is now, it is the time where, um, where you have to stop and go back and listen, listen to whatever uh, happened, you know, or to, to whatever, listen to your own uh, intuition of whatever you did. I'm going to read the bottom line for uh, this changes, the changes that's happening here for you with this God. Sometimes a breaking point come because of an accumulation of a number of a small action or decisions rather than overwhelming or obsessive passion. If you can look deeply into the details of how you have been spending your time and energy lately, it might really re reveal a larger pattern that was not apparent to you before. So, you know, this is really interesting. Watch yourself. Watch how much you do. Don't get yourself too exhausted. You deserve to look at you. Look at you, how you all bend it down. And I try not to get this card. It is funny. It, it is really funny that it fell out of the thing twice. And it happened to one son before too. It is really amazing. Anyway. You guys take care. I want to thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for looking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting me. I really appreciate you. I really love and enjoy doing this for you. If you want a reading of your own, you can contact me, email me, go to my uh, website, whatever. Uh, easy for you, okay? And if you want to find me on Facebook, you can find me on Yola's Coffee Cup Reading coffee cup psychic reading this is my page and uh, contact me there so you take care and i wish you all the luck for this week i hope this week can bring many good things to all of us you take care and i'm looking forward to see you next week